This podcast was brought to you by Uncle Jeep Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Jeep Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is host of Media Gaming. Record this podcast live every th- Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, no longer Thursdays. Listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, or anywhere you can listen to podcasts. Leave us a five-star review. I'm going to start the show with a five-star review right now. Uh, five stars from um, Sea Starch. <clears throat> Don't know who that is. Uh, so amazing. So amazing. Uh, another five star review from not Uncle Jeep. I love this podcast. Is the goat. Five star reviews. Thank you guys for leaving your five stars review. Now, we're, okay, the, those are that's me and Drip. We posted those uh, in July 9th of 2021. Um, wow. I that tells remember you, doing that. I, I'm going to read a couple more here, but that tells you how low we are with five star reviews that two of them are not us. Um, but That's come on, guys! Not me. I don't know. Who come that on, guy guys! Is. We need some more. We got some. We got some real ones here. We got one from the real Captain Olimar. This is going to be a good one. What are you waiting for? This podcast feels a very uh, feels very organic with the chemistry Drip and Jeeve have together. They're very charming with banter. Uh, I, I lost my turn. I lost my thing here. But with banter gone between it's be the uh, between the two. Uh, I, I suck at this. I'm sorry. It's not only entertaining, but also informative on the latest Nintendo news every week. Not a Nintendo news podcast. Uh, one could also say that there is an unexplainable vibe that makes it totally worth the listen. Five stars, Captain Olimar, the real Captain Olimar. Thank you. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be more later. That's a good we'll, review. Let's get one more. Uh, Kyle Garrett, a.k.a. KG. Uh, Drip and G, bring the goods. I love listening to Drip and G discuss all things gaming. Love their takes on things. They're entertaining and funny. Uh, those reviews happened in 2021 and 2022. Again, we need more reviews, guys. So well, we got a few more here, more recent ones, but uh, we need more reviews. So make sure to go to Apple Podcasts and leave a five star review. And whatever you put in it, I will read, including if it says how awful we are, as long as there's five stars. Uh, and no, and I'll file all community guidelines. This podcast, blah 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 blah. Enter thing here with long text and long reading thing. Drip, how you doing this week? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> doing just wonderful. Um, my trash people took a big thing for free, mm-hmm. so that was mm-hmm. great. We told that story already. But uh, other than that, you know, new Taylor Swift album. That's cool. Favorite um, song from the Taylor Swift album. Uh, the one, the one that's called Fortnite, the first one on the uh, album with uh, nice. what's his name? That one uh, dropped Post a while Malone. ago, right? I, I, have to, I definitely have to listen to that one. I'm a Post, Post Malone fan, so I'll yeah, he sounds pretty good. One. He's not, he's not like featured prominently in it, but he's he's no. in there. Yeah, he's okay, in it. Good for him. Uh, I, 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 I don't put know. a video out for that today too. I don't know what happened to Post Malone. He, I feel like he's tailed off in terms of releasing content. I hope he's like okay in his personal life and stuff, but he has not oh. post or posted. He has. Well, who am I? Uh, he he's not uh, made uh, made content in a while. So I, I kind of his one of his, the one album that blew up is one I first listened to, and I, I love it. I forget what the album's called, but it's that one that blew yeah, up. I'm know. not I'm not sure what he's doing. I mean, you know, he fixed whatever the problem was. He just put out a song with Taylor Swift. So I mean. Yeah, good on it's him. It's probably going to do a lot for him, honestly. Hopefully. I mean, to look what it did for again. Travis Kelsey. Right, G? <laughs> yeah, t- totally. The, well, he wasn't completely <laughs> Nobody even famous knew who on he his was. own. Nobody even knew what the NFL was. Yeah, not, not not once, not ever. Now look at the NFL. They're just they're doing great. Speaking of things that are doing great, Drip, uh, Nintendo. Oh, hmm. no. Not, not a... Uh, not so great, actually. I was a lie. Um, but what is positive, Drip? We did get an indie direct, so let's talk about that for just a couple minutes here. Uh, okay. I think we got a lot of good. I think we got a lot of good games. Honestly, they're again. You need to take your expectations, people, and skew them. Yeah, it's because an indie this direct. is an indie direct, not a full Nintendo direct. So I think there was a ton of good games. I don't think there was a bad game in the indie direct. Honestly, they all look pretty good. I I agree. I mean, the the ones obviously we wanted to see. Yeah. Uh, Silk Song, not there. I thought, yeah, I thought this was it for sure. Like had it, to be. Doesn't it make sense? Doesn't it make sense that Silk Song was going to be there? I mean, number one, the biggest thing, time. It's been so much time since we've heard anything from Silk Song. Uh, when it's number- got the rating, it's got the, the rating and stuff. Like that seemed yeah. like okay, that because that's kind of the order these things happen. We see stuff go through the ratings boards, whatever, and then whatever the next event is, whatever that was, is usually there. Not all the time. Because mm-hmm. we saw the same thing with like that, that Batman trilogy for the Switch, and then it never showed up. But then it did eventually. 
But right. I don't know. I mean, there was other stuff. We got uh, Little Kitty Big City. Oh, yeah. Release date. Hell, yeah. Uh, what is the release date on that? The release date on that is May 9th. Well, good. That is in uh, a month, less than a month from now. Less than a month. I'm definitely going to get that one. I, yeah. See, and that's the thing. That's what's cool about this Indie Direct. And I know we talked about this earlier. This is a pretty good one. There's actually games that are coming out that we're at. I, like, I want to play. I haven't wanted to play my Switch in quite some time. Honestly, me, me, Mrs. Mrs. Jeep and I felt the same way recently because we went to go play. She was going to go play something, and I was playing something for stream. And I had realized all my controllers are dead. Besides the Joy Cons, right, the attached, yeah. everything was dead. I grabbed the pro. We have three pro pro, pro controllers, all, including the Zelda one. All three of them were dead. Yeah, and, and the like, pro controllers Shit. that hold that that can be mm -hmm. used for forty hours, mm -hmm. forty hours of battery yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, D that's usable battery life. Standby is forever. Oh, and, I know what this is. Yeah, I mean, dead. Same thing here. I know. I know that pro controller is dead. Guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, even the stuff I'm streaming right now. Mm -hmm. All of it's either on PlayStation or Wii U playing me, uh, me too, Twilight man. Princess. Same for me. Hell Divers is on PC. Oh and man, on PC. Hell Divers. We oh, had a lot of. This let's is not about that, but dude, no, Hell Divers. But let's plug Woo. the fact that Drip and I are streaming on Twitch again uh, pretty consistently. And we have an amazing schedule, I think, set up where, excuse me, every night of the week, except for Sunday, there is a live stream happening starting on Mondays yeah. with Mr. G Mondays on my Twitch, Tuesdays. Zelda time with Drip. He's playing Twilight Princess right now. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays are our show, of course. Thursdays are uh, Zelda night for me. So right now I'm playing some Breath of the Wild DLC, finishing that up because I have not finished that since it came out, which is uh, crazy in itself and trying to finish that up. And Fridays, Fortnite Friday every other week. And then uh, on the, that Drip's going to do something else on Fridays. I don't think you've exactly decided what that's going to be, but mm. uh, that's your day, though. Friday's your Kinda day. Kind of thinking about playing Helldivers after the podcast. So, mm. oh, 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 are we playing? I thought we were doing Zelda, but okay, good. Helldivers, I'll, I'm down. Oh, I'm man. fucking down. Uh, Saturday, and then Saturdays, I'm playing Hell Divers on Saturdays. So yeah, we got yeah, we got that's cool. I'm, I'm glad yeah. we're, we're back to doing that. Yeah, make sure that links are down below, guys. Make sure to follow us over there. And uh, I know our, our buddy Johnny, who's had been on the show a couple times. I know he's been deciding. He did some TikTok streams. I know he wants to play on Twitch again. So I'll shout him out real fast because uh, we have not shot his Twitch before. So make sure to follow him on Twitch because uh, we might be playing. Yeah, yeah I followed him on Twitch. He's got like four thousand followers. My on guy, my Twitch. guy is all over the place. I feel it's the Dude. Philly magic, bro. Uh, Crazy. But, but he may or may not join us at some point for some games on streams as well. So, and uh, of course, the, the other likely usuals like Chess and Shibby and all those people. Yeah. But anyway, uh, you guys know we're we're back on we're back on the internet. We're back yeah, on, back last little year, kitty, so. little but, kitty, yep. big city. Good. I one. I want to mention Drip Stitch was shadow dropped. Yeah, you uh, have that, that, right? And I have it. I was playing a lot of it uh, before the show here. Uh, it's fun, man. It's just a little puzzle game, uh, if you haven't seen it. It's just a little puzzle game. It's They call it a handmade embroidery, or it's a puzzle game about handmade embroidery. So if you've, if you've ever played a color by number, which if you were a child at one point, you probably have done a color by number. But uh, anyway, it's, it's just kind of matching up uh, colors, in this case, stitching with the number and making uh, a project out of it. So that, that, that was a really cool one. Uh, nice little bedtime, nighttime game kind of situation. Anything else? The interesting, Turtles interesting game. Drip? Of course. Uh, TNT -like. Splinter's Fate. Uh, it, it looks it looks decent. I mean, it's kind of like... A, uh, you know what's funny about it? And this is going to sound dumb, but like, I always wondered like what the, the Ninja Turtle... Uh, the way they looked in mm. the Fortnite skins... I'm like, those are like original takes on the turtles, but it kind of looks like these. The Shredder, for sure. It's like the same exact one. Turtles, not so much, but I, I, you told me earlier, it's the first I even knew about this. This game's on Apple Arcade. Is it anywhere yeah, else besides I, that? Your Discord told me about it. I think it was Coca Baby or somebody in there was, was telling us that this game's been on Apple Arcade for a while and it's now getting a Switch port. I mean, it looks cool. Honestly, it looks. It looks very interesting. It looks like it's got some deep mechanics. I mean, I'm I'm down with this one. When does it come out? Uh, soon, July. very soon. I, I think yeah, it's soon. So July, I and mean, it's like not quite as soon as some of the other ones. But yeah, it's it's coming. It's on its way. That should be a little mm -hmm. fun, a little dungeon crawler type game. Uh, any other games you found interesting? Um, you talked about Stitch. That looked cool. I mean, I don't know. There was a bunch of other ones. There's lots of stuff that looked good. The whole thing. I mean, the, yeah. But, well, was, well, but again, reiterate what wasn't there is kind of the, well, yeah. while I think this was a good direct, I think overall 
can't avoid the fact that at least I was disappointed. Not because what we saw was bad. I was disappointed because I thought at least like Hollow Knight was some fun and new we could talk about that's been rumored forever. And Hades 2. Hades 2. About. You know what? It's, uh, they're playing. Uh, Beatemoth played it last night in stream because he has an early access review, uh, r- early access uh, copy of the game. I mean, that's I one I saw thought. A minutes of that. Check it out. I thought afterwards, like, oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that before. Like, when I was watching it, I didn't even. That would have been a huge, huge surprise for me if they would have, uh, if they would have put that in there just because I completely forgot about the game. Yeah. And honestly, why didn't they? If they're, if they're, if they're promoting an early access thing right now, what, ha- what better way to just take some promotion out of that and, and, and get, get some promotion out of Nintendo putting out in any direct? I mean,. It kind of that kind of baffles me that it wasn't just a mention in there, even at the end, Nothing. just at the end. Not a thing. Nothing. Just bizarre. Bizarre. And bit. whose fault is that? Nintendo's? The the developers themselves? I don't know. I don't know I how don't they. Know. I don't know how they go about doing that. How do they pick like what's going to be in the indie direct and what's going to? I mean, I'm sure these people have to pay, right? I. I, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure that they had to pay some money to get in there. I'm sure. Um, either that, may, maybe not though. For they need stuff, maybe not because maybe could. I don't know. If Nintendo has the charitable side, maybe they're just like this is going to benefit us because indie sales help drive our platform. It's true. Uh, so maybe we're investing in you by giving you free promotion and in return. Uh, what are they getting in return? Nintendo's getting sales of games, I guess. I yeah. Mean, they get a cut of everything, so yeah, I guess so. I mean, either way, whatever. It was cool. I'm. You know, if Nintendo's not going to put out any of their own games, at least they're giving us other people's. Yeah. Uh, speaking of things that Nintendo won't be giving us, uh, they're not give, they're not going to be t- attending Gamescom, which I think is notable. It is um, not I agree. not uh, it's predictable, and but notable still because obviously it's predictable because we already know. Drip, Drip and I have been talking about this for months. We were on top of this before other people were on top of it. That Nintendo, ever since that rumor that seemed to be accurate instantaneously that the Switch 2 is pushed the next year, ever since that rumor that seemingly all but confirmed, dead silence from Nintendo. Dead silence. Uh, only thing they've t- been talking about has been Princess Peach and Thousand Year Door and Luigi's Mansion to dates. But essentially virtual silence on anything yeah. new. Um, when there's not going to be anything new. But, well, uh, let's before we get to like in the future from now, let's talk about like what we've seen already, what's already happened in 2024. Drip, uh, can, I can count on one hand how many announcements Nintendo has made in 2024, which by the way, in just a few more days is five months old. We'll be, we'll have been in 2024 for five months in just a few days. And I can count on my one fist how many things Nintendo has talked about. Nothing. They've talked about nothing new, to be specific. Obviously, no, Princess Peach was, at the time, early in this year, was not out yet. So you could say that was technically new. But what I'm saying is things that have been announced previously, in, the, um, yeah, things, in yeah, this previously year. Previously announced things in the this year they talked about, yeah. We're no yeah. longer early in 2024. It's been five months old now. Five months of nothing new. And that trend seems I mean, to be d- will seemingly be continuing. I mean, till the rest at least the what? Well, this game's comes in September, and they're not there. Okay, they're not or there. in August or September, Which, and they're not there. So why are they there? Here's the thing: I, I, if they have some of the show, just bring a fucking Tears of the have, Kingdom statue like they have the other. Bring I don't, a Princess I don't think Peach they statue. To, I don't think they want to bring things like that to places like that anymore. To be honest. Why do you think that? Like the backdoor stuff where they're they're showing developers things and this and I don't think they want that anywhere near any of those places because of what happened uh, with all those leaks about people seeing the Breath of the Wild and 4K with no loading screens and the mm. Matrix demo and all that shit that was running on uh, whatever Switch Two equivalent hardware, not the actual mm. thing, but what they were playing. I I think they they I don't think they want to chance. Any other situation that could turn into another one of those. That's a really good point, Drip. And to back you, sorry, my dryer is going off. And and to back you up on that, um, I've lost my train of thought. My dryer is very loud in my eardrums. Uh, that's my fault. I did that. <laughs> well, um, oh, the the, the leak, uh, the, the the lawsuit is where I was getting to. The lawsuit from Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, where all the pirated copies got out before the game was even po- posted. Not that that's the same thing, but it's along the same lines yeah, of they're it's, trying it's to protect. It's just pro- all building on top of everything. Yeah. It's, they're it's trying just to protect. Stuff that- 
They're trying yeah. to protect their IPs and their games and their surprises. So it is a surprise when it comes out. So kind of going off what you said, they don't want to risk anything that shouldn't be out there that they don't de- that they deem not worthy of being out there yet. They don't want to risk any of that information getting out too early. Well, plus, that means I mean, not what are they going to show? Comms. What like what what are they going to what are they going to bring? Well, that's the thing, Drip. If they were attending, they'd have something to show, even if it's something that's you know on the way out. I guess yeah. if you think about if you think about it like this. They would only bring stuff. They wouldn't promote an old game unless it's like a an evergreen game, like a Smash Bros. Yeah, or Mario, Mario Kart, Kart, something like that. Something like that, or so, do like a fun tournament there or something. I don't know. And maybe they were like, ah, we're, we don't really want to bring any of those for any, right now. We're not really promoting any any tournaments or anything right now. So their thought process is, well, we also have nothing. And this is kind of be this could be a little link into the future. Maybe we're not hearing anything new until the fall because. If there was something, if, if, if we're we're hitting summer, or we're gonna get to summer soon, okay. And if there was something new to promote in the summertime, it would be a Gamescon. If nothing else, just as a little reminder that Nintendo does something, they produce business in 2024. It, just something, okay. But the fact that they're not gonna be there tells you maybe we're not hearing anything new until after Gamescom. Yeah, I mean, I think I. I think whatever announcement they have prepared for the Switch 2 is coming after that. That's why they're not going there, because they don't want to risk it being compromised before that. And, I mean, it doesn't matter. Shit from the factory is going to... We're going to see something eventually. It's going to happen. The closer and closer we get to this, we're going to start seeing factory leaks and shells and weird stuff pop up, and we, we won't know if it's real or not until we get the actual thing in our hand. But we got the Switch Lite shells way early. Yeah. Way before they announced it. That was and BG they, and, before Jeep. Yeah, and <laughs> they uh and it was real. It was real. Because they, you know, we, we saw the pictures of it. I think it was a yellow one, if I'm not mistaken. But um yeah. Everyone was like, eh, maybe. Looks legit. Nobody knows. But then, you know, once it came out, I was like, Oh yeah, that's that's definitely what that was for sure. hundred mm-hmm. percent. So that that could happen. But uh, again, like you go to things like this to I mean, not only to talk to, you know, other developers and do the closed door things, but uh, you're, you're wanting to take games to these things. You know, you want, you want something for the people to, uh, to be involved in while they're there yeah. and they just don't have anything. I mean, even if, even if let's say they have a, I don't know, we talked last week, was it last week or the week before about the possibility of like, Oh, what if, what if there is a holiday game, a new game, and it's like a like a new 2D Zelda? I mean, yeah, you would have that, and then whatever else, ports, remakes, because that's all we're getting. We're not getting anything. We may get one new thing, which still is, like, way up in the air. The big thing could be a port. You know what I mean? And yeah. it makes no sense to go promote a port like that if that's all you got. Yeah, and I want to talk about we got some more stuff we want to talk about, uh, and I want to talk about that. You know what Nintendo, you know, possibly could bring to the table this year. Before I do though, I want to talk about our podcast reviews again. Uh, I said, but I said I was going to read the rest. We're going to do the rest, and then from now on, they're going to be brand. I want to read brand new stuff every week. I want to see a, a new five star review from somebody who's listening right now. I, I see listeners. I know you guys download this thing, so leave us a review. We'd really appreciate it. Um, let's read another one that came out. Uh, that came out. This review was in February 2023. Again, All right. m- more recent. Uh, Vanessa Moo, thank you very much, Vanessa Moo, for leaving a podcast review. Amazing podcast. It's always a good time, and I feel like I'm part of the conversation that goes on. Always authentic and fun to listen to. I look forward to every episode. Thank you, Vanessa Moo. That's such a kind, kind review. It's a good thank one. you so much. Dudes, a monster. Leaving one earlier this year. Great fun. Great show. Very entertaining. Uh, very entertaining hosts and conversations. Always a blast to hear from you. your guys' takes. Thank you, dude. And the last one, it's me. It's a me healthy. It's it's a me healthy. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to read it like that. Uh, five stars. Love the podcast. Drip and Jeep are very entertaining. This is my go-to Nintendo gaming podcast. Thank you, because that's heavy competition. I appreciate, We appreciate that. 
Uh, my favorite segment is Beer of the Week, which we've gotten away from recently. I, and I want to bring it back, but we want to bring it back in the pre-shows or after shows. I think it doesn't quite fit the actual show itself. But, of course, our pre-show and after show is part of our show. It just lives on YouTube exclusively. So, yeah, you know, we talked about our Speaking Beer of the of that, Week. Dude, Wild Sour. I'm drinking right now. I'm like now, halfway dude. through this. I have two of these. The <laughs> other one is not going to be opened. I can tell you that. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. If you guys want to hear uh, what we're talking about there, our beers of the week, we talk about that in the pre-show. Make sure to hop on YouTube, check out that little little ditty over there. Uh, and one more thing, Drip, before we get going, we have a sponsor for today. Today's sponsor is Doyoki Drip. Drip, first, party Nintendo Joy Cons are amazing pieces of technology, but unfortunately, they're just too uncomfortable to play for long periods of time. Thankfully, Doyoki reached out to us uh, and gave us the what possibly could be the solution for it, Drip. The Dioki Epoch Game Controller are Joy-Con style controllers that feature ergonomic comfort rubber grips, hall effect joysticks with swappable stick caps, six color LED lights, wake up and turbo function. They are also wireless. They have gyro. They got programmable back buttons and they have different lighting modes on them. Drip, I know you've been working with Binbox slash Dioki for a while now. You have firsthand with their experience with many of their products and even have given them direct input and feedback on many of their products uh, pre and post release. Right. Yeah, including this one. And I, I, I am so glad that I did get to uh, to put a little bit of input into uh, to these ones. And we, we talked about them on this show, in my video. They are super comfortable. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. They've lived on my Switch since I got them. I haven't taken them off. Uh, they're just, they are the most comfortable you can get. And uh, again, the LEDs, normally not a thing I like with the RGB, but I'm into it. I'm into mm -hmm. it, G. I like them keeping them very good you could find the Duyoki epoch game controller with the links down in our description make sure to check out there to get 10 percent off of your controllers with the with the code drip media gaming space is all involved in there make sure to use the code drip media gaming is that all caps drip uh it is capital, capital each D. word is capitalized each word Not capitalized capital spaces sounds good so use code, code drip media gaming to get 10 percent off uh and use the link down below to do that thank you Duyoki, for sponsoring today's episode Drip. Hmm. Yeah. What? Man, there, there's so many directions we could take this, but all kind of leading the same way. Um, my next note here is is not exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna say it. What are the easy titles in 24, 2024 they can put out? And are there anything? I'm not. Is there? To, I'm not anything? allowed to talk about those. I, I'm. I'm gonna give you a mulligan right now. Uh, okay. The easies. Yeah. I mean, the easy, easy, easy ones. I mean, it's. Literally, and it's not just ju it's not just those two. It's not mm -hmm. just Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. Mm -hmm. It's all the other stuff that's still sitting back on the Wii U. Yeah. Because it didn't sell there. They brought everything else over. They basically ported their library over and charged more money for it. Because they were like, no, we're gonna, you know, they, they gave themselves a mulligan on that one. Yes, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just redo it again with all these games. They could do that with Star Fox Zero. They could do it. Uh, what's the Xenoblade game? Uh, Chronicles X. Yeah, that one's that one would be perfect. And I mean, now's a great time for that one. I mean, there's four right there they could do. Easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, well, okay, but but where are they? Not not like necessarily what are they? That's what I, that is what I asked you. But what I want to get at is where. Are they? No, I mean, why, why are they not here? It's ridiculous. Five, but months. they might be. I know we're we're kind of. I know because you, I know. they're not unless they're shadow dropping, which is still possible. Unless they're shadow dropping later, they would it need to be announced now. I mean, Paper Mar uh, Thousand Year Door and Weezy Mansion Two were talked about last year, months and months ago, and they're not even out yet. So that tells you that they need time to get these out, at least to, to build up the hype. And again, unless they're shadow dropping, we ain't there's getting anything time, this year. Nah, I, see, I think you're wrong there because there's still time. I'm, it's there, only there, is, April. there is still time, Drip, but, but here I'm just ahead of the curb, okay? Because, yes, there's still time. There's eight months left in the year. Of course, any reasonable person will go, I mean, they could two months from now, they could put something out. What I'm saying is, we have no signs. They're, they're giving us no signs of life. It's, it's, it's as if we're, we're trying to get Nintendo to wake up from, from near death. And like they're it's, not giving, they're not giving. Like the, the the pulse is not there. It's like twenty twenty all over again. I it's really really weird to me. Um, so that th there's, there's, their pulse, they seemingly have died. What twenty twenty four twenty twenty four came around. As soon as they saw that they needed to delay their console, they're just like they had no plan, and we're like, well, we're not going to make a plan. 
So we're just going to do nothing. <laughs> it just well, seems, it seems, well, uh, okay, seems like what they're going to do. But listen, listen to this. Same mm-hmm. thing you're saying, but what if, what if that is actually what's happening? Maybe the reason we're not hearing anything right now is because those plans did have to change last minute the way that it sounds like they may have, where they had to push it to 2025. And now they are like, okay, we do have to fill the rest of the year with some stuff because we're not going to have this console out and when we thought. So we need some stuff. And maybe that's what they're trying to do behind the scenes right now is just get that lineup ready to go. We could still get a direct. We could get an actual first-party direct in June. That That's still plenty of time for stuff to come out, you know, September, August, November. Yeah. I mean, even into, like, uh, like January of the next year. I mean, mm-hmm. or, or February, sure. whatever. Possible. And, I mean, then, you know, maybe we do get the announcement, the Switch 2 or whatever, late September, October, something like that. I mean, October's when they did the Switch. October's when they when they announced the Switch, and it was out March. So they, they, could, they could easily follow that schedule, mm-hmm. just like they did with the Switch, and do the same exact thing. But then, from then on, as we've talked about before, start doing kind of what they did with uh, with the 3DS and the Switch. Any Anything going further, they're kind of going to talk about both. You know, the games that were announced for the Switch will kind of be talked about as Switch games. That will also work on the new system. But then there's also, you know, these new games that are Switch 2 yeah. games only. And I believe that because one of the, my theories is that they're going to turn the Switch branding into a brand, not a product. And in, in how we used to think of Nintendo back in the day as the NES, the SNES, even our 64, those were our Nintendos, right? That's what we played our games on. Just as that was the branding at that point for Nintendo... I think the new branding is Switch, and I think if they're smart, in my opinion, they would continue that. So, with that said, they could continue to release Switch games and eventually reveal the Switch 2's branding, logo, etc., but it all falls under the brand of Switch. Yeah. Well, I mean, and it's it, kind of like it, and it applies, uh, Sony, it, but it's, you know, it's always been the PlayStation, the one, the exactly, two, the three, the four, exactly. the five. Nintendo has never done that, but... It's possible. I mean, we we are in different times, and they seem to be catching up a little bit, at least as far as like what they need to be doing from a marketing standpoint, especially after the uh, the terrible thing that happened with the Wii U. I think they mm-hmm. really, really pay attention to a lot of that stuff now that they didn't really used to pay a lot of attention to, or just maybe think that they knew and then realized, hey, maybe yeah. we don't know everything. Yeah. I mean, but here's my point, Drip. Again, unless they're shadow dropping something uh, in September, October, November, right? They can do that. They need to be announcing yesterday, like to get ready for the buildup that they like to do for their games. If there was something they're going to put out in this calendar year, with the exception of the next two months, they're they're out of time. Like they well, need yeah, to, but they, they have the next two months. They have they it. Do, they do, but we've been saying for months already that they have time. We said, okay, but yeah, I but guarantee listen, you no. in January, I guarantee but, you we were listen. saying we could hear something in April. I guarantee Still, you. April's almost over now. I'm not worried about April. I, I, dude, I'm talking about June. June which, is, I, which, I, people keep saying, oh, April direct. Oh, now it's canceled. That's stupid. I don't know why anybody would say that because <laughs> they've never done that. They don't do that. They don't mm-hmm. do directs in April. March, sometimes, maybe February. Notice, lots notice of times. how, notice how our channel drip. Notice how we have not posted a direct rumor video in April, because because it's I not never, gonna happen. I never <laughs> believed it once. I, no, I, and, and you and I had a conversation at one point where we, you were thinking we should do one. And I was like, Yeah, no, I don't, and you're I'm, right. I, because I, I said, I said I don't want to do well, a drip. I don't want to do it. I, and I'm, why? I'm because we know what we're gonna say. <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. That's stupid. <laughs> And look what happened. It, well, it, yeah, which and is, it's not. And it's there's not. There's still two weeks left in April, I guess. People could say, the critics no, could say. No, but we got the no. Indie Direct. It, it ain't yeah. fucking happening. But yeah. June, June is a time when they always have a Direct. Mm-hmm. That's a very normal time for Nintendo to have a Direct. February, very normal time for them to have a Direct. Yep. September, very normal time for them to have a Direct. Yep. And I mean, even if we don't get, I mean, we'll, we'll know. We're going to get something, I guarantee it. In uh, in June, we'll get something. 
Well, whether we okay. get when another you, when you partner say, showcase. I was gonna say when you say something, we don't need something. We need something very specific. We do. Yeah, we need. We something need an, specific. We need a first party direct. That's, That's what, what we need. need. Well, and like I'm saying, we'll That's get when, something. I don't forget know about, if we're gonna get a, that. So when I say we, typically I'm thinking of the consumer. That's when I when I think we, I'm thinking about myself, <laughs> no. of course. Fucking the, the me. Cons- the cons- I right. need it. I, I said, I'm thinking of myself, of course, but I'm also thinking about the consumer. Like, we as a consumer need something, but forget about us for a second. Look at it from, look at it from the lens, from a business perspective from Nintendo. And I've I mean, direction. I can. I, and, I, I and, I have a dire- and I have a direction for this. You had brought something up we're going to talk about in a second. But from a direction standpoint, from the t- or a business standpoint from Nintendo, they need something. They need something. Money. How do they get their money? By putting games out. Yes, we got Peach, but that's not going to be a big seller. Thousand Year Door, I'd be surprised if it went past five million this year, which is a good number. Don't get me wrong, but it's not going to go over five. Five would be a fantastic number because RPG got three, and the last Paper Mario game got like two or three somewhere in that range. So I'm thinking five would be a great number. But think about this: they're they're the Switch in the Switch's life. They're used to having multiple ten plus million. Thousand Year Door is going to be pretty good. I like I said, pretty good is going to be five. It's not going to go past five. I really don't. I really don't. Not, not because it's not going to be good, but because like we're looking at what RPG did. Which I, there was a lot of hype on RPG, but all and all, but it, it did kind of get overshadowed a little bit by Wonder. So I wonder, yeah, for a sure. little bit. But also Absolutely. look at the last Paper Mario game. It was a brand new one. This is not, Thousand Year Door is not brand new. This one's brand new. I think if saying it could double it is saying something. I think it can double Origami King. But that's Thousand still Year Door is not brand new. No, I'm saying Origami King was better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I and think it's going to do more than Origami King. I think it will. Right. And I'm saying, I, I at maximum, I'm thinking it could double Origami King, which is impressive. But doubling it only means around $5 million. Like I said, that's my number. With I think, that being... Go ahead, go ahead. I don't know if it's going to be that. I don't think, I don't know if it's going to be that much. I think it'll I think it'll do better. I think it'll be probably the best-selling... Uh, it'll be the best-selling Paper Mario on, on the Switch. Yeah, but my point is, Rip, is that that's not impressive for Nintendo in terms of how they what they normally do money wise to ha- make their shareholders happy. Yeah, they they usually do so much more in sales, and why they won't just do anything more right now? Because is they don't need me. to. And I want to get to that. Don't need to. We're we're, we're going to get to your point, and I, and I think it's a really good one. We're gonna we're gonna that's kind of where we're gonna end, honestly. Um, but what's here's my thing that I, we talked about on the phone during my walk today, or okay. I think it was my walk, and you were listening. Um, it w- and I've said this before. This is not breaking news. <laughs> that should be our episode titles for the, every single episode. In this is not breaking news. Uh, <laughs> GameCube on Switch. It just seems like the biggest and easiest thing that they could do that makes complete sense to put out right now. Like tomorrow. Like there's no... It, it, and, and I'll let you talk. I know. Go I, ahead. I, may, I may talk and then you'll talk. Go um, ahead. Go right ahead. <laughs> GameCube emulation. On Nintendo Switch Online, they can if they want they can hold back the stuff like the the Metroid games because they're going to be reposting they're going to be doing those again. Obviously, the Paper Mario games are already getting reposted. They don't they don't need to put that one out right now. There's stuff that they can there, there's plenty of stuff that they have plans for the Switch to I'm sure to put out that they can hold back for the Switch Online right now. That's great. Hold back on those games. It's not like we get all the big ones anyway, especially from the start. Let alone forever, we don't get the big ones anyway. Give us the small stuff that we want. Third, the the indie stuff or the, the you know the third party stuff and some of the lesser big some of the lesser th- first party stuff Get, just give us GameCube online it's been rumored forever I actually predicted it before we got Game Boy Advance but we got Game Boy Advance instead which I thought that would be the one that they wouldn't do because technically Game Boy Advance is newer than GameCube technically right I think I, I'm thinking about them. either way it doesn't matter I thought GameCube was coming out two years ago. And it's still not out today. And with a, a 2024 of barren Switch new things, besides stuff they announced in 2023 that are just now trickling out this year, just give it to us. Throw us a couple emulated games. It'll make us happy. Announce six titles. Three coming out right now. Three coming out over the next nine months or whatever. The next eight months. It's easy money. Just do it. Rip? They don't have to. They don't need to. They do not need to do that. And honestly, by doing any of that right now, they are just taking away hype and taking away anything that they want to do to make the switch to the best they can make it and give it the most they can give it to hype it up the best. We're done. You know that. We're done with the switch. We're done. 
And they don't need, I mean, do we want all that stuff? Yeah. But why why put GameCube on this when they can hold GameCube back for this, the online service? And I know the online service is a completely different thing. That that is just going to roll over. So that stays. Like, but why why bring it out now when the Switch is just kind of starting to fade off here? And it's actually not. It's actually not. The sales you, are you still guess, there. Guess some numbers, Drew? I I mean I don't have like concrete numbers, but they are their forecast for 2024 for their profits, just what they're going to be making, are almost exactly the same as 2023s. That's crazy. Almost, ex- I mean, can, we're can, talking can I, like a can 0.3% I, percent difference can I, in profits can, over I, I, year I, I over don't wanna, year. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but that's I didn't expect you to say that because that's mind-blowing because let's not forget what came out in 2023. Yeah. The fastest-selling Zelda game of all time. Yeah. And they are saying that they are, they are forecasting that... They will basically stay the same as they are now. They Who's drop forecasting down. That? Who's forecasting that? Uh, Nintendo themselves. This is what they've told their shareholders. I mean, dude, they have I didn't, to, I did not to expect be honest this. with their shareholders. I did not expect this. We need to take this in a new direction then. If that's if Nintendo is saying that themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Plans we'll get for, there. They on. have plans. Yes. We're going, they we're have going plans. there. There's yes. no way they don't have plans. There's Something's nothing happening. Coming. Yes. That's why something I keep saying. Things. No, no, not just something. Something ginormous. Because last year something ginormous happened, and in, in, the, in order for that to happen again this year, something ginormous happens, and that's not Paper Mario. Well, you have door. to remember this too. We're talking about Nintendo's fiscal year, not 2024. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So you're talking you're talking January, February, March of 2025 as well. Yeah. That, that, okay. That's that's fair enough. So that that could include Switch Two sales. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't just end in December. I get you. Right. So there's that too. There's that part of it too, but they're going to keep, like I always say, they're not turning the engines off. They're going to keep the motor running. We're going to keep going. They just don't need to give us anything right now. All they need to do is just keep these. And and I know you're saying like, oh, you know, they're used to putting out these titles that sell, you know, this crazy amount, this, that. And we're talking about, oh, well, maybe it'll sell 5 million copies. Do you know how many game publishers out there would give their both of their arms to be able to say their <laughs> game sold 5 million copies. Oh, I I know. And Nintendo does that shit on a Tuesday. Oh, I know. Like I, whatever. I, it wasn't meant to to disregard the smaller games Yeah, that well, don't that's do what that. I'm saying. Like it was we meant talk to about it was it meant like to it's like it was meant to scale based off of what Nintendo normally does with their stuff and yeah, you know, we're 7 years deep though. It's like yeah. Right now, they all they got to do is just maintain, and they don't have to do that. You know, they're one of the richest companies in Japan right now. Yes, I didn't know that. Like they are at, like they are good. They don't got to do shit. Like if they're smart, they'll give us the few things, the few little crumbs. You know, just keep breadcrumbing us to keep us keep yeah. us interested. I, I so can I tell you where my head's at? And I yeah. agree with you now. Now that I've heard everything you have to say, I, I, I agree with you that they don't have to. As much as that makes me upset, I know it Log- sucks. Lo- it logical, suck. logically, <laughs> I have to agree with you. Though. There's too much logic what you're saying. Um, I forget what I was going to say actually, but yeah, I mean you're t- you're totally right. Like it, you're totally right. They're okay, I mean they're, they're creating. Uh, here's what I'm going to say. They're creating demand. Yes. Because it's for in my mind, I'm thinking of it like this. They're losing them. They're losing them. You know, uh, them being the the, the consumer. You know, there's no, they haven't put anything out recently. They're losing them now. They're losing me, but not now. They're not losing me to get off of Nintendo. They're losing me my interest in immediately. But that yeah. doesn't mean that I still don't have overall interest. And that's the thing. They got us by the balls. Yeah. Okay. And that's that's what I'm missing. There's so yeah. many Nintendo fans out there that that are that want the, the games. The crumbs is what you're missing. That we're, 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 exactly. You know, throw me a Skittle, please. I want my dog yeah. loves Skittles. You give her Skittles, she loves them. Like, cool. oh man, oh, yeah, like, I'm back. Let me hang out here. Yeah, yeah. like, like they have us by the balls, okay? And and they don't need to, to do anything for us right now. As much as that sucks, they need to do nothing. What they need to do is create, uh, you know, uneasiness with the fans because they want more, and they're we're making us foam with the mouth. They're, yeah. they're they're drying us out, drip. They're not giving oh, us any water I mean, or food honestly, for three look days. About this. Think about this too. They really are. They're like. How about a direct? That's a partner direct. Here comes a direct in Indie World Showcase. It's like, oh, okay. All Paper Mario right, Thousand Year fine. Door, not HD, not remastered, because we're tricking you to make you think it's a new game. It's not. It's old. You probably played it already. 
Yeah, you know? I mean, yeah, to the, the, the person who doesn't really... Yeah, they, it doesn't say remake, remaster, anything on it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's also a very interesting tactic they're yeah. they're doing right now, which I find very interesting. Um, this is this could be a perfect setup for them, honestly. If if they hold all this stuff back and they do they do the breadcrumbing right, because I mean, you said it yourself, interest right now for you fading. Tell me how how pumped you would be if they were like. Wind Waker HD dropping I'd, in September. I'd, I'd be over the moon. I'd Crazy like, happy. I'd be like streaming Zelda every day. Yeah. What if, what if they what if they said I mean, my God, even like Star Fox Zero, I'd be like, yes. Like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. I would With too. better like I would, all the yeah. stupid shit's gonna be out of it. It's just gonna mm-hmm. be a good regular Star Fox game because it can't Which do we, the by the way, have zero of those in the Switch as is. Yeah, there is no there is no Star Fox game. No, yeah, the closest thing is that uh, battle uh, Starlink Battle for Atlas, yeah, not a Star Fox game, but yeah. not a Star Fox game, but Star Fox is in, is in it. Right. Point is though, yeah, still, not a Star no Fox game. Star Fox game is yeah. a single. They one. could do that easy, and that would like, those little things are enough, are enough to just get you to the next place where we need you to be. Just hang there a little bit. Now come on over here until they are like, boom, there it is. Here's everything. Here's a bunch of new games that are coming out over this first year. Uh, big direct, big announcements there. Um, I don't know. You get your GameCube stuff at that direct. They really just hammer it right at the beginning. It, you know, it does make sense to be the first announcement for like, because of course we pretty much know all the Switch Online stuff that's coming copy paste on the, and, and it's going to stay on the Switch as it is, but it's yeah, going yeah, to yeah. also copy paste into the, the Switch online too. service as it is yeah. right now is just a. That is going yeah. to be like an Xbox yes. Live type of thing at this point. It's it's like what everybody else has. It's just so even they don't have to put it on Switch Two right or Switch right now because they'll put it on Switch Two and it'll, it'll end up also on regular Switch or it's an exclusive that you need to get the new console and have Switch Online to get it. But either way, that'd be a good first console online console to drop. Be a big, great yeah. new console to drop. It would. And maybe, oh man, let's get let's get into the weeds. Can we get into the weeds for just a second? Sure. And maybe, just maybe, this do you need to play music is where with this? I feel like you need to play music for this one. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Maybe right. this is where Predictable. finally we start seeing the first uh, different style Joy-Con from Nintendo for the Switch Two because they dropped the. They drop the GameCube online, but instead of dropping the GameCube controller, they give us the official Nintendo version of the GameCube Joy-Cons. You lost me. That's not happening. Huh? Come on! I and want then it. we actually start you seeing first-party Nintendo Pro mm. Controller Joy-Con. We get the stuff from Nintendo that we thought we were going to get with the original Switch. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Okay, we're in the weeds. It's fine. Let's get yeah, back out. We're hanging out in the weeds. Okay, it's fine. I brought I brought bug spray. We're good. Okay, we can leave too. All right, we're good. Um, <laughs> oh man. Well, I think that's kind of where the conclusion we came to here is that that that's 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 good information, dude. That's big. The the, the fact that Nintendo is forecasting. Yeah, I'm this on fiscal their year. site looking at this and looking yeah. at their annual reports, all their stuff right here, earnings release. I mean. Because financial that, that, data it's all right here because i i'm sitting here like you know uh fa- the sky is falling like there's nothing happening this year business wise they're doing it uh, they're they're planning terribly but you're saying actually nintendo is planning to have just as good of a year this year you know starting in march of this year 2024 uh as they were in the previous fiscal year which is saying something because there's diddly squat this year so something absolutely massive or multiple mid things have to happen this year and we already can conclude there are not going to be multiple mid things because they have what they would have already and mid things being like a porter remake like a skyward so um or a wind waker or twilight princess multiple of those you know would have been th- been thrown out already because we they would have been already announced and would be coming out soon because they're not gonna just drop them all at one time that's not happening because it's already April. We again, like we said, two months to go. But can we can already assume that they're not dropping little breadcrumbs, mid breadcrumbs even throughout the rest of the year. They're, I think they're they're literally done. I think Johnny's or uh, I think Cheesy's eating that chip 
Oh, he's eating that shit probably. He's eating that shit. Probably. Because I, I would say either late this year or more likely to me, I think January, February of 2024, they're announcing this new console and it to be cu- to be coming out just a couple months after its its announcement. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean October. I mean, I still think October is probably the time. I got maybe, numbers. I got numbers. Let me tell you some numbers about this. This sure, I, sure. I just pulled this back up. I found what I was looking at. Okay, so operating profit ratio for let's just 2022 mm-hmm. profit 35 percent flat. Okay? okay, came down 2023 to 31.5 percent. Okay, their forecast for 2024 is 31.3 percent. How? They dropped Tears of the Kingdom in 2023. Listen to this. Uh, this is in yen. So, so 20 so million copies in three in net sales. Three days. Net sales in 2023 in yen. Uh, pretty much one 1.6 million yen. Let me say that, say that number again. 1.6. Uh, 1 million. Yeah, 1.6 million yen. Okay. Oh, what? That is net sales. Net sales. Okay. Okay. Forecast for 2024. 1.63 million yen. Same. That they, they, dropped, are not, they are not expecting to drop whatsoever. They are they, expecting to stay directly on course. I remind you as well, not, not just Tears of the Kingdom. They also dropped the Tears of the Kingdom switch. Okay. They Didn't they drop the Splatoon switch in that fiscal year? I think so. That was the same uh, fiscal what, 2022? year. 2022? 2023. Mm. That fiscal year. Yeah, I don't they know. Dropped, My God. They well, dropped, I mean, even, dude, it's not. 2020 of was. 2020 was. Yeah. I mean, even 2020 was 1.3 million. Uh, 2021 was 1.75 million. So That's it went the up and then the started coming back down 2022. And then 2023, 2024, we're just kind of cruising along. They're killing it, man. They ain't got to do shit. What they got to do is build that insane hype for us mega fans so we blow the fuck up whenever we get this announcement yeah. on the Switch 2. I mean, you know. Which they're succeeding don't forget at. about Don't forget about the Mario movie, the Zelda movie, <laughs> the theme parks, all the other st- I mean, dude, there's so many pieces of this of this pie now and like where they're going. I mean, they're they're fine. And they're they're not going to forget about us, hopefully. And we're not going to forget about you. You make sure to leave a five star review, or else yeah. we will be angry. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. I'm worse than the Hulk. Leave us a five star review. Uh, we'll read on the show next week. I expect to read at least one more. If I don't read one more next week, I'm going to cry on the show. Drip's going to find some sad music. He's going to press the button. I'm going to cry. So leave it. They leave that five star review. Uh, yeah, but for serious guys, thank you for listening to this episode. We're gonna go to the after show for now, hang out with those the people in the stream for a little bit. The rest of you guys, we're gonna catch you next week. See ya.